Hi, and welcome to this 4NAV coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at 4NAV, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to print Business Central reports to your local printer. To demonstrate how to print directly to a printer, we will use the reports from the 4NAV report pack. However, you can print any 4NAV report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate how to print Business Central reports directly, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add a 4NAV local printer. In step three, I will add a printer selection. In the fourth and final step, I will print a report. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will print Business Central reports directly in the Business Central Cloud environment. The minimum requirements for direct print are 4NAV report pack 5.3 or later. You need to install the 4NAV direct print. And for on-premise, you must upgrade all the reports to 4NAV 5.3 or later. Before we can select the printers, we first need to set up the 4NAV local printers. In this setup screen, we can set up our local printers with their settings. We can set up things like paper kind, paper source, and many more things. I will use both the default printer and the specific printer set up on my PC. So let's go to Business Central and let's go to this 4NAV reports, uh, 4NAV local print page. In the 4NAV local printers, you have one uh, printer set up by default, which is your default printer. Uh, you will notice the printer has a cloud printer name, which is the name by which it is uh, known in Business Central. Then you have a local printer name, uh, the default. The local printer name default will always print on your default printer. And you will notice that I have uh, the description, paper kind, etc., is all set to default. So what do I need to create a new printer? Well, first thing I need to have a look at my printers. You will notice on my PC, I have the uh, Microsoft printer PDF set to default, and I also have a bullzip printer set up. So for the bullzip printer, if I want to use this, I need to, I need to use the bullzip PDF printer name as my printer name. So let's try this. say bullzip and I'm going to quickly copy my printer name there we go so that will print to my bullzip PDF printer and the description can be anything you like so I will call it bullzip as well then of course I can set up things like paper kind and things uh, with the 4 enough uh, local printing uh, you can set up things like uh, paper kind units, uh, width, height, and color. You, but you can also set up the paper kind, the source paper. So you can set up something printer specific, or you can set up the uh, upper bin, lower bin, etc. Then you can set your scaling and your scale. I'll leave everything the default except the color. Let's go and print in black and white for the Bullzip uh, PDF printer today. And once I've done this, my uh, four nav local printers are set up. Once we have set up a four nav local printer, we can use it to specify which report we want to print with it. So in order to specify which report to print with which printer, we will use a screen that's uh, been in uh, Business Central for a while. But so far, we haven't done a lot with it in Business Central. Uh, we will go to, to the printer selection screen where we can set uh, select which report for which user will print to which printer. If we leave user ID and report ID blank and just select a printer, this will now print every report to the, uh, or at least every 4NAV report directly to the default printer. 
you will notice that Microsoft also has a uh, direct print setup, which is the email printer. Uh, this prints directly to uh, to printers as well. Only it needs a lot of setup. It needs a lot of network uh, work in order to get all of these printers set up. So let's use the Fornav one instead. And let's go and print our invoice. See if I can find my Fornav invoice. Here we go. Let's print the invoice with the bullshit printer. And that's everything I need to set up in the printer selection screen. Now we are ready to print the report. We can either use the report uh, run function, but we can also print directly. So uh, of course the uh, four and a half report pack comes with a way of testing these reports. So let's go to the four and a half standard reports. You will notice in this list immediately that the, uh, the new printer column is now populated. You will notice all of these invoices print to the default, except for the invoice. All of these reports print to the default, except for the invoice that will print to uh, Bullzip. So let's test it with the customer list. Let's just do a report that run. You will notice in the report that run my selected printer is default. And I can select print. And you will notice that after I click print, uh, Business Central downloads a uh, four and a half print file. And the four and a half print, print file is the file that is going to be printed locally with uh, using the four and a half direct print. So you can select file opening. And you will notice this brings up my uh, PDF printer. So I can simply save it as test. And this will get me my new test file in my downloads folder which gives me my uh, customer list. Of course, I can also print directly. Uh, if I just click local print, uh, Business Central will uh, call the report.print function, and this will print the report directly. You will notice I still get, Edge still asks me what I want to do with this file. Of course, I can say always open files of this type. For now, for this demo, I will keep doing this manually. So call this one test two. So that's the uh, the basics of the local print. And of course, this invoice is now set to the uh, to the bullzip printer. And you will recall that I set the bullzip printer to uh, black and white. So let's have a quick preview of this report. See what it looks like. So this report has uh, some text in blue. So when I print this with uh, with Bullzip, I'm expecting to get a full black and white report. So let's go for local print once again. Which is going to print every invoice in my system, which uh, might take a little while. But once it's rendered, I can once again open the Forna print. This takes a little while as well because I've printed every invoice in my system. But as you will notice, this will bring up my Bullzip PDF printer. And I'm going to simply save everything in my uh, in the Fornaf VAT sales invoice. The nice thing about Bullzip is it also automatically opens the PDF. And there we go. Document has been created. And as you'll notice, my, re my report is now printed in black and white.
So let's recap what we just did. We have first set up the printers in the Fornab local printer setup. We defined all relevant printer settings like paper kind, etc. After we did this, we could use the printers in the printer selection. When we printed, we got a Fornav local print file that we could open automatically. So let's go and see if we have any questions. There's no questions in the question box yet. If you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, for now, we will move on. If you want to know more about Fornav or direct print in general, please visit fornav.com. And if you want to have a play with Fornav, you can download Fornav from the Fornav uh, website or from Microsoft App Source if you're using Business Central Cloud. If you want to see more of these videos, uh, you can go to the Fornav Reports YouTube channel. And if after this video you still have any questions, just send them to support at fornav.com. Of course, we will continue the Fornav Coffee Break. Uh, for a uh, for a long time coming, if you want to see the upcoming and recording recorded coffee breaks, please visit fornaf.com slash coffee break. And if you have any suggestions for future Fornaf coffee breaks, uh, please let us know and you will win two prizes. The first one is, of course, we will record a coffee break, uh, especially for you. And if your suggestion is selected, we will send you a 50 euro or dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, there's still no, no questions, so thank you very much for listening, and I will see you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.